again. Now we put all the electrical events in perspective. First event was atrial depolarization, having a small vector moving downward and leftward with moderate velocity. This was first electrical event. Second electrical event was AV nodal silence. Third electrical event was, what was this? Septal, now ventricular depolarization start. There are three vectors for ventricular depolarization. First, septal ventricular depolarization, then major ventricular depolarization, then basal ventricular de depolarization. Septal ventricular depolarization make a small vector but moving rightward and upward, but fast vector. And what is this vector? This is vector representing major ventricular depolarization. Am I clear? And in the end, these small vectors represent what? Yes, basal ventricular depolarization. Am I clear? So these are the, now atrial depolarization is done by this vector. When then AV node is showing the silence, then ventricular depolarization process start. When ventricular depolarization process start, at that very time, atria is undergoing repolarization. So repolarizing current in the atria is masked by the depolarizing activity in the ventricles, right? Now, let's suppose we go to the next stage. First electrical activity, second, third, fourth, and here is the fifth. Now, let's take this electrical graphs, electrical vectors, right, of this heart and apply a galvanometer there. You remember the galvanometer from last lecture? Let's see it. Here is this man. He is very happy. You know why he is happy? Because he understands the ECG to some extent now. So he is very, very happy. Okay. Right. I have shown a very big heart there, but actually heart is of course smaller. But what I am showing that this is the heart of this person. These are the electrical events in, in his heart during one cardiac cycle. I have not shown the ventricular repolarization. That I will discuss later, right? Now, what we do, we apply our galvanometer to this person and see what are the needle fluctuation due to these vectors. It will be fun. Now, let's suppose that here is our galvanometer and we break down its window and take its needle out. This is that galvanometer. Here it has, we apply, let's suppose, positive electrode on the foot, left foot. Suppose we apply the positive electrode here and we apply the negative electrode. What is this? Right arm. So the same galvanometer we have applied to this person and we want to see what, what type of needle fluctuations are produced by the electrical activity of the heart. Because when during one cardiac cycle, electrical vectors are produced due to electrical events. And these electrical vectors and electrical potentials are very faithfully conducted to the body surface through the body fluids. The, electric, the very small electrical activity of the heart produces very miniature voltages up to skin. Body is a very good volume conductor. Right? Even very small electrical currents which are produced during the one cardiac cycle or each cardiac cycle, they are very faithfully conducted up to the body surface. It is such a volume, good conductor. If you don't trust that body is a good conductor, you can do a mini, small experiment. Put your finger into any electrical plug. Suddenly you will know that body is a very good conductor. Take care, don't do it anywhere. 
right? Now listen. So electrical activity of heart come to the body surface. So we can apply the electrode on the body surface and pick up the electrical activity which is going on deep into heart. Is that right? Now listen. We could, we have applied the positive electrode on the foot because it is convenient to apply here. But actually, whatever electrical current is coming to this point, whatever electrical current is coming to this point, this will be conducted to the foot. So it means applying the electrode to the foot is equivalent to applying the electrode at the junction of the left lower limb and the trunk. In the same way, when you apply the electrode on the right arm, actually position of electrode, that position of the electrode will sense the same electrical activity which electrode could sense when electrode is applied at the junction of right upper limb and the trunk. Right? Again, let me repeat it. For key convenience, I have applied the negative electrode here and positive electrode on the foot. Is that right? Basically, whatever electrical activity is here is the same which is conducted in the arm. So either you put electrode here or here, it, is, it will be doing the, receiving the same result. In the same way, you apply the electrode here or you apply the electrode on the foot, right? What really happens, that electrical activity which is reaching here, right, that will be recorded. Is that right? Now, so for practical purposes, we can say that positive electrode which is on the foot is actually here, right? This is the positive electrode. And negative electrode which is on the right, what, right arm, right? This is practically here. Right? Now, these are the positions of the electrodes. And we have to see the, how these vectors will move this needle. Let's do a little scientific work. What we do, we take a paper roll. Roll of paper. And... This is a roll of paper. Is that right? This is paper roll. We put it vertically and here, let's pose. This is a wooden stand and we have applied this paper roll on the stand. Is that right? We are, we are making ECG machine by one moving paper roll and a galvanometer. That's the simplest form of ECG machine. Here is a small motor and this motor is constantly moving the paper in this direction. Right? So paper is moving in this way. Is that right? Paper is moving in this direction. Now what we do? We are ready with our ECG machine. This was galvanometer. Very sensitive one. Put positive electrode here. Here, negative electrode on the right side of the trunk, right upper side. Clear? More truly speaking on the right arm. Now, we brought this needle out. We brought this needle out. And let's suppose on this needle, tip, we put some black ink. We put a black ink. Is that right? And we make the switch on and this paper start moving under the needle. When this paper is moving under the needle, if there is no electrical activity in the heart, listen now carefully, rather you have to answer. If there is no electrical activity in the heart, right, no vectors are there, do you think this needle will fluctuate or it will remain at a steady point, neutral position? So when there is no electrical activity in the heart, these electrons don't sense anything, needle remain at the neutral position. Because paper is moving under the needle, so it will make a straight 